Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand one to many relationship on controls relationship type. So far, in our previous classes, we have covered all these relationship types, works for, manages, works on. So these are all the relationship types that we have covered so far. And uh, some of them are one to one. This is one to one relationship type. Okay, so this is a one to one relationship. This is one to many uh, and this is a, a many to many relationship type. So still we will try to explore more number of relationship types in this uh, 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 in this diagram from this diagram. So here in our previous class, we have identified the relationship works on between projects and employee. Now we will try to explore more. We will try to explore between projects and department. So just pause this video for a while and try to think of whether there there are any relationship between uh, there is any relationship between uh, department and project just pause for a while okay so now coming back uh, here the projects in the projects we are having an attribute called controlling department so what this controlling department consists of it consists of name of the department or number of the department which means this attribute is representing another attribute so there is a relationship between department and project and what is that re relationship so uh, in the requirements in the requirements if you closely observe it is given that a department controls a number of projects it is already given in the depart uh, in the requirements means departments are controlling a number of projects so what what is the relationship type that that we can obtain from this controlling department attribute is uh, controls department controls projects so the relationship type is uh, controls So the new relationship type is uh, controls controls and uh, just connecting the department and project they are not uh, participations they are not partial participants just connecting let's try to explore the concepts of uh, uh, control uh, what we call it as a uh, uh, cardinality ratio and participations so this is this from this diagram we'll try to understand the cardinality ratios and uh, participations before that just think just think how the departments will work so is it mandatory that every every department controls a project for example if you take women's grievance department or employees grievance department so is there any need for those departments to control the projects no it they, they 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 don't control projects they just see the facilities that are that should be there for the women or for employees so those departments are not concerned about projects there are some departments which do not control projects okay from this concept we can say that so there are some departments which do not control projects so let's try to understand that point so for example if you take department one uh, it is not controlling any projects let's assume that it is not controlling any project similarly if you take department two and it is controlling project v1 and department three which is controlling project p2 and also department uh, three is also controlling project P3. So how can we say that department 3 can control both the projects? It is given in the requirements. The department, a department controls a number of projects. Okay. So now what is the maximum participation of department? Maximum participation. The maximum participation of the department is N. And what is the maximum participation of projects? A, a, a project should be a project should be under the control of only one department it should not be under the control of several departments so it is going to be one so what is the total uh, cardinality ratio of the maximum participation of the controls relationship type it is n is to one many many to one or one to many does not make any difference okay now how this n is to one is represented on the on the uh, er diagram how it is represented project is having a maximum participation of one so which which has to be represented on the opposite side 
and similarly departments can participate on n number of projects a department an entity of uh, an entity type department can participate on more than one instances so n n should be there on the opposite side okay what about the participation whether they are full participating or uh, partial participation see here for example if you take this uh, this is partial participation because uh, department one is not participating in any of the projects he is not controlling any of the projects so the partial uh, the pa the minimum number of participations is zero minimum is zero okay and this is minimum number of participations is one minimum and maximum both are one because every project if you have a project in the company that should be under the control of any one of the department so without having the control of the department we cannot take the projects right so uh, that specific project should be under the control of this specific department so based upon that the minimum number of participations of this project is one so uh, the departments it is partial participation and projects is having full participation with with re, with respect to, to this controls relationship type okay so this is all about uh, uh, one to many relation uh, on controls relationship type controls uh, relationship type hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching watching.